Oh Mad God everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be learning a lot and we're going to be improving a lot our math skills. But before we continue with the video guys, it's very useful for the channel to grow. If you turn on those notifications, subscribe to the channel and push that like button as well. So without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> Oh my god! Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be a small practice of angle addition postulate, applying it and seeing how to find the measurement of some angles. So let's begin. So as you know from the last video, which I will link in the description below, you have seen the angle addition postulate. In this video, we're going to be doing a practice on how to use it. So in this case, we have a first example where we're given two values for the angle POQ, which is equal to 24 degrees, and angle POR, which has a measurement of 59 degrees. The thing they're asking us to find is the measurement of the angle of QOR, okay? So let's take a look at the rays to see which angles they are talking about. So the first angle is angle POQ, meaning they're talking about this angle right here. Then we have angle POR, so P O R is going to be 59. So it's this whole angle right here. And then they're asking us for the angle Q O R, right? So this angle right here. The thing we have to see is that the ray O Q, so this ray right here, is between rays O P and O R. And as you remember from the postulate, that means that this angle plus this angle is going to give us this big angle. So in this case, we have POQ, which as I mentioned before, is this angle being 24 degrees. And then POR, which is the big angle, being 59 degrees. So how much? Is going to be this angle. So the measurement of QOR is the one they're asking us to find, right? So we have to remember that the addition postulate says that the measurement of angle POQ plus the measurement of the angle QOR is going to be equal to the measurement of the angle POR. And we're just going to solve for our variable here. So in this case, POQ is 24 degrees. And we're going to add the measurement of angle QOR, which we're going to find. And then the measurement of POR is 59 degrees. Because we want to isolate this variable, we're going to move this number to the other side by subtracting. So the measurement of angle QOR is going to be equal to 59 degrees minus 24 degrees. That means that the measurement of angle QOR is going to be 59 minus 24 degrees. So that is going to be 35 degrees. Now let's take a look at the next example, guys. It's the same diagram, but we have new values. So first of all, we're given POQ. So we're given this angle right here, POQ, which is 19 degrees. We're given QOR. So QOR, which is this one. And that is going to be 31. And they're also giving us ROS. So ROS is this one, and they're asking us to find the angle POS. Now, because of the addition postulate, we know that rays OQ or OR are between 
rays OP and OS. That means that angle POQ plus angle QOR plus angle ROS is going to give us the big angle, angle POS, which is the one we're going to find. So again, measurement of angle POQ, which is this one, plus the measurement of angle QOR, which is the second one, plus the measurement of angle ROS, which is the third one right here, is going to give us the measurement of angle POS, which again is the big one, right? So we're just going to substitute the values, so 19, 31, and 15 degrees. That addition is going to be giving us the answer of the measurement of angle POS. So 19 plus 31 plus 15 is 65, so that means the answer is going to be 65 degrees as the measurement of angle POS. And there you have it, guys. Let's try the last problem now. Okay, so in this last problem, guys, we have the last uh, set of angles that we're going to be using. So in this case, we have QOS, QOS, so this angle right here. Then we have POR, POR, which is going to be this angle right here. And then we have angle P o q which is this angle right here and they're asking us to find angle r o s so they're asking for this angle right here right so the first thing we have to see is that they're actually giving us a lot of angles so the angles look something like this q o s is 46 p o r is 61 p o q is 28 and r o s which is the one in yellow right here is going to be our unknown value, right? So the first thing we have to see is for angle POR. So POR, the measurement of angle POR is going to be the addition of angle POQ plus the measurement of angle QOR, right? Because we have POR, which is the big angle, and that is 61 degrees, we can say that's equal to the measurement of angle POQ, which is 28 degrees, plus angle QOR. Then the measurement of angle QOR is going to be 61 minus 28, which is going to be 33 degrees. Now that we have found the value of QOR, which is this angle right here being 33, and we know that the measurement of angle QOR plus the measurement of angle ROS is going to be our red angle, so it's going to be equal to the measurement of QOS, right? So QOS, it was given to us that that is 46 degrees, and we just found out that QOR is going to be 33 degrees. So then we just have to solve for angle ROS, which is the value we are looking for. And that is going to be 46 minus 33 degrees. And that is going to give us an answer of 13 degrees. And there you have it, guys. So in this case, as you can see, we're constantly looking for every single value for the angles using the angle addition postulate feel free to redo these problems and practice because remember practicing is the key to mastering your math skills so guys see you on the next one bye check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow follow omath god in its social media accounts drop a like a comment below and see you on the next one bye